The 2013-2014 school year will bring several changes to the health insurance options offered to the employees of Tyler ISD. The Affordable Care Act requires individuals to maintain minimal health insurance coverage for themselves and their dependents. Unless an individual is exempt, the individual will have to pay a penalty for every month the individual fails to maintain health insurance coverage. This requirement takes effect January 1, 2014. There is no penalty for being without health insurance if one of the following apply. You're part of a religion opposed to acceptance of benefits from a health insurance policy. You are an undocumented immigrant. You are incarcerated. You are a member of an Indian tribe. Your family income is below the threshold for filing a tax return, which is $10,000 for an individual or $20,000 for a family in the year 2013. You have to pay more than 8% of your income for health insurance after taking into account any employer contributions or tax credits. The requirement to have health insurance is satisfied and no penalty is assessed if you are insured for the whole year through any combination of the following. Medicare, Medicaid or the Children's Health Insurance Program, TRICARE for service members, retirees and their families, the Veterans Health Program, a plan offered by an employer, insurance bought on your own that is at least at the bronze level, a grandfathered health plan in existence before the health reform law was enacted. Under the Affordable Care Act, the penalty for being without health insurance is as follows. In the year 2014, the penalty is $95 per adult and $47.50 per child up to $285 for a family or 1% of family income, whichever is greater. In the year 2015, the penalty is $325 per adult and $162.50 per child up to $975 for a family or 2% of family income whichever is greater. And in the year 2016 and beyond, the penalty is $695 per adult and $347.50 per child, up to $2,085 for a family, or 2.5% of family income, whichever is greater. After 2016, the penalty amounts are increased annually by the cost of living. The income is defined as total income in excess of filing threshold, which is $10,000 for an individual and $20,000 for a family in the year 2013. The penalty is prorated by the number of months without coverage, though there is no penalty for a single gap in coverage of less than three months in a year. Tyler ISD will provide an annual open enrollment period in September 2013 where eligible employees and their eligible dependents will be able to elect health care coverage for the upcoming health plan year, which is from October 1, 2013 through September 30, 2014. During this open enrollment period, covered employees and their eligible dependents will be able to make their health care coverage benefit decisions based on the particular plan coverage that is right for them. If eligible employees do not elect coverage during this period, they will not be able to enroll for coverage in January 2014 when all individuals are required to have health care coverage under the Affordable Care Act. If eligible Tyler ISD employees do not enroll during the September open enrollment period, they may be subject to a penalty unless they obtain minimal essential coverage by January 1, 2014 through an insurance broker or entity such as the Federal Health Care Insurance Exchange. In an effort to have affordable health care options for all employees that provide quality health care service, there will be changes starting October 1, 2013. Tyler ISD is discontinuing the Inpatient Hospital Benefit Plan, IHB, and offering three health care insurance options. They are TISD Plan A, TISD Plan B, 
and TISD HD or high deductible. The employee premium rates for Tyler ISD Medical Benefit Plans A and B have remained the same for the past eight years. For the upcoming insurance year, there is a premium increase for medical benefit plans A and B, but no change in benefits. Even with the rate increase, the premium rates for medical plans A and B are significantly lower than the comparable TRS active care plans, which are used by approximately 90% of school districts across the state. Plan A provides the most comprehensive coverage, contains the lowest deductibles, co-insurance, and co-pays of the three plans offered, and has the highest employee premiums. Plan B provides comprehensive benefits with moderate deductibles, co-insurance, and co-pays, and with moderate employee premiums. The HD plan provides comprehensive benefits after a high deductible is met and has the lowest employee premiums of the three plans. This plan covers preventive care at 100% if services are rendered by an in-network PPO provider. The HD plan will be compatible with a health savings account, so individuals who select the HD plan could elect to set up a health savings account if they so choose. In the past, Tyler ISD has not offered a high deductible medical benefit plan to its employees. The HD plan Tyler ISD is offering employees is deemed affordable under the Health Care Act. All three plans meet the Affordable Care Act minimum essential coverage requirement. Please begin to give careful consideration to your plan of action regarding health care coverage for you and your eligible dependents. Consult your income tax professional if you have questions regarding the penalty for being without health insurance. For detailed information about each plan, visit tylerisd.org, select the Employment tab, and select Insurance Information from the drop-down menu. If you have specific questions about the health care options offered by Tyler ISD, call the TISD Benefit Support Specialist at 903-262-1082. Thank you.